Dear students, so in this particular video, we are going to talk about a very specific issue at hand that how to prepare for IP examination that is for the entrance of the BTEC examination which is popularly known as IPU CET examination. Alright, so what are the basic stuffs that you should keep in mind before going for the exam which is scheduled to take place on 20th of May this, this month. Alright, this, uh, this is just a coincidence that it is occurring one day before your JE advanced examination. But let's see what are the main things to be kept in mind in the IP examination, a quick overview. Okay, so first of all again we have to examine the uh, uh, ex uh, exam code, what the exam looks like. So talking about the exam if you see, so this is the examination structure where examination here keep in mind is of 150 minutes. So it is basically two and a half hour, right, you, people must know it rather convert it into minutes because this will keep uh, track of your time though 150 minutes we'll talk about how to distribute 150 minutes in this particular examination most important challenge here is that you will have 150 questions as well which is the most difficult part of the ip examination right uh, marking is very pretty normal plus four and minus one and more importantly the time slot this is the very important thing and it's a very different time slot from the other examination that two to three thirty is the exam slot which I feel is a very good thing, right? It's a, it's a good thing to have a time slot at this. Okay, and yes, it's a typo here. It should be till uh, 4.30, right? So don't worry about this. So it's a two and a half hour examination. Very good timing because uh, you will not have heat waves coming onto the, on, in, in, into your mind, right? Okay. Uh, moving further, the exam code, just quickly brushing up with the other uh, basics. So Eligibility is 55% marks in physics, chemistry and maths at class 12th, which I guess most of you will be able to do that. Uh, must have passed in each subject in class 12th and I guess you can read the others, so I'm leaving this part for you guys. Okay, coming to the main that cracking the exam is nothing but uh, the speed drill. So basically when I say that uh, 150 questions in 150 minutes, so this automatically is a big challenge as you can examine. So 150 questions in 150 minutes at any given stage is a challenge. It doesn't matter whether the paper level is easy or moderate or it's tough, right? It is actually challenging because you are not having enough time. So what you people have to actually do, so what should be your strategy? That is what we have to talk about here. Okay, so what is the most important thing? Speed. Yes, so speed is everything at the uh, IP exam. Uh, if we just split upon how many uh, minutes you should give to a particular section, uh, as usually chemistry will have 50 marks, uh, 50 questions over here, right? 50 questions. Just see to it the time that I have given to it. Only 25 minutes. Why? Because I assume that this section is going to be the easiest among the all three. Why? Because you will have questions on inorganic which will not be of now the same difficulty level. Now, if we just talk about the comparative with respect to J mains. Uh, if we talk about the difficulty level, right, people have a lot of doubt about, sir, what is the difficulty level of the IPU. So I would say it is a bit low, but you might find some questions which are again tougher than the JE main. So don't worry about the difficulty level. Most of the pa paper would be less than your uh, JE mains level. So this is what you can say about the IPU. But you will find some questions which are tougher. So your target, so what is my target? If somebody asks you, sir, what is my target? The target remains the same as is the case with every competitive exam that you have to figure out easy questions. Figure out easy questions, do them and run away. That is the major target in the IP exam. You have to figure out easy questions for yourself. So be, go with the belief that 40% paper is going to be easy in IP. See, 40% paper. So if you can just go with that 40%, that is something which is very huge. And 40% paper will be of the moderate difficulty level and only 20% will fall in the bracket of difficulty level. And if you see in any examination, this is a very generic uh, setting of the paper. So our target is to figure out very quickly those 40% and the, these 40% moderate and to leave these difficult parts. You have to leave them because you don't have time here. That's the problem. So give 25 minutes only to the chemistry. This is challenge. I know that you people might feel that this is a bit challenging. But this is possible. Why? Because they even if they ask you physical chemistry here, so physical and chemistry questions will not be too much calculative. So that is the advantage here. Right? They might not be too calculative. So don't worry about this. Okay. This could be done. Physics 50 questions, 50 minutes straightforward. So one minute per question. That is the target. Leave physics if you are done with the 50, uh, 50 minute stage. For maths, this is a big challenge again. 50 minutes. 
uh, 50 questions but i am just devoting 60 min uh, 60 minutes to it so my strategy is not to attempt 50 out of 50 in maths my strategy here is to attempt between 35 to 40 that is the only target so for if you just concentrate on 35 to 40 rather than these 50 then the 60 minutes looks very fine for me right because see there is no sectional cutoff there is no sectional cutoff or there is no priority that you if you score uh, better in maths then they will give you some bonus there is nothing of that sort so my target would be to maximize physics and chemistry because these two topics can be maximized but maths is something a challenge because we have limited time available and i always prefer to maintain that i should have some time for my revision so i have still left with 15 minutes for revision where i will go back and do those questions which i think i might have been able to solve in the exam but at this point of time uh, when i was solving them i could not figure out this answer so you can go back to your physics and chemistry sections and attempt those questions over there i would say after 60 minutes do not attempt a maths problem you have given ample time to the uh, math section if you still want you can just increase this to 65 minutes and can reduce the revision uh, or the uh, revisit to this particular uh, section for only for 10 minutes okay so this is my exam strategy which i have to tell you understand that the ipu level is a bit lower than the i uh, j mains level so you will be feeling much more comfortable here how to prepare then uh, if we ask how you should prepare so obviously the practice practice and practice will make the man perfect and that is the same setting here but these are the things that you need to do here one is the mock tests or the past years right so ip does not provide uh, you the question paper back so we do not have uh, exact questions which are asked in the ip so there is something which the arian the past year comes in uh, so are they, they might be not 100 percent actual but 100 uh, percent actual they might not be there but they will give you a flavor of uh, what kind of examination is going to happen on 20, 22nd or oh sorry 20th apart from that you must do this completely what i want you to focus on is j mains past year and you should actually do it from the year 2002 right to 2002 onwards you should do all the questions that have appeared in j mains so beyond if you go beyond 2009 yeah, or in beyond 2005 also you will have screening exams of iitj right do those questions as well and in fact rather than i should say do you should actually learn those questions learn questions in fact for chemistry and uh, physics right so there are some chapters in chemistry and physics where you can do the rota thing please do this activity because ip sometimes ask direct questions from here right that questions can repeat here so this is the strategy that we are trying to hit here okay so the repetition is there and do not miss 2015 2016 and this year 2017 all the examinations online offline both just learn them out just learn them believe me i am expecting minimum of one or two questions from these three years in this year ip examination all right so this is more than sufficient for you to do apart from that if you want a revision of specific chapters that you are already doing so for revision keep stress on 12th right so this stress on 12th this is another very important point so do not just fret about 11th so if you are not good at 11th uh, you should not fret about it leave this you can leave this completely don't worry about this i'll tell you about what are the important topics in the next slide so if you talk about the important topics which you should prepare so if you see if you just talk about maths first of all the if you just see 11th topic so sequence series 11th so if though this uh, the syllabus contains all the topics of 11th and 12th only these two topics are very important and you should actually do them so sequence series everywhere in every competitive exam is a very important topic because questions are asked regularly from this topic and you just need to do these two topics apart from that you see these are all your class 12th topics right and believe me ip exam will have too much of calculus so please uh, if you you have time which you have right now figure out basics of calculus right please do calculus if we talk about physics here physics if you again see they ask unit and dimensions gravitation they do ask apart from that the entire thing is 12th again you can say this is again vector is uh, uh, 11th but if you are not comfortable with lot of laws of motion and all that kind of stuff believe me leave them at this point of time so you can actually uh, leave mechanics if you are not strong at it so you, you can completely leave these stuff just do the basics 
all right by leaving i mean you can just do the basics you don't have to delve uh, deep into them but if i don't want to talk about uh, the important questions or important category of question that will lie so these two chapters are really really very important they should be really very strong at this uh, examination again coming to the chemistry chemistry has uh, again the same kind of concept where you are given strong footage on class 12th so if you notice here uh, the uh, concepts which i have not mentioned here something uh, you have to completely do the 12th and these are apart from 12th these are stress on uh, class 11 topics like bonding uh, periodicity and mole concept thermochemistry so for class 11th you can actually stress on the physical part a bit more right you have to do so chemistry i would suggest uh, don't, don't be very choosy with chemistry if you can do chemistry complete i would stress on complete chemistry that's a better strategy because we want to maximize our score and chemistry is the only subject which gives you the option of maximizing your score in limited time frame apart from that again you can see these are the important so electrochemistry plus uh, you can also add kin uh, chemical kinetics here which uh, will be asked at the examination okay so these are your important chapters which you should actually should not miss at all so if you talk about the score range and the score graph of ip examination so this is the uh, score category where uh, generally you will find uh, students so majority 49% of the students score between uh, 150 to 300 and generally this is a pretty wide uh, range of score so if i have to talk about 49% most of them will be around the bracket of 150 to 200 this is the general uh, score at that we hear a lot about at ip only 34% are able to cross the 30 per 300 mark and again to be very honest this might be wrong believe me so this calculation might be wrong because ip does not give you the uh, scores that's the problem with ip ip does not reveal score it only gives you ranks at the end of the day so this statistics might be wrong so don't just to delve too much into it coming back to expected score versus uh, marks uh, versus uh, rank category so this is just a prediction again i am again reiterating this might again turn out to be completely wrong because these are all just uh, you know fake guesses so 350 plus then you can actually expect to get a rank of under 500 remember that it's a examination of 600 marks in totality so 350 plus is any given day a very good score so this is the range that uh, you can actually uh, see your marks uh, our target is something any given day to score between this uh, this particular barrier that we should uh, be targeting 250 barrier though this rank may go up and down i do not know about this for sure but our target is to actually fetch around 250 marks greater than 250 marks actually a minimum of 250 marks now how do you are going to achieve it so what should be my examination strategy let us just quickly discuss this so we know that we have to solve uh, or there are 150 questions right and and you have to attempt them in 150 minutes so this is the biggest challenge again reiterating so now let us take uh, some pictures into consideration some hypothetical cases so let's say you attempt 100 questions right out of which uh, let's say correct and wrong you attempt 100 questions i suppose that uh, you attempt 70 correct and 30 wrong so can you just imagine what would be your score here yes you can very well do the calculation the score comes out to be exact 250 marks now let's just do this calculation with 120 if you attempt 120 so if you attempt 120 i would say that you you might do correct 85 uh, and you do the remaining questions wrong so we can see your score now shoots up to 305 yes now this is what we are talking about now and just improve this status i say just attempt 120 and this becomes 90 30 right so the magical figure will now start improving 330 if you just attempt 125 keeping that i would attempt uh, 95 correct and 30 wrong can just go on and go on and improve on this particular can you see this is the magical figure that we were talking about 350 so this is how you have to amplify your uh, score in the examination so just see to it that in which particular category you uh, people fall so let me take a lower category also that you attempt uh, only 90 so this is the basically the attempt section right how many mark uh, how many questions you attempt so if you attempt 90 and out of which you have only 65 correct and you attempt 25 wrong which is the general trend in the exam so our score then becomes 235 right and if 
again we stuck up to 60 and though we maintain this ratio that we do 30 wrong your score now you can see reduces uh, drastically on the other side this becomes 210 so my strategy is here to tell you that uh, you should actually focus on this particular bar so this is the minimum range that you should actually target so if you are somewhere in in the exam that let's say you are now in the examination hall and you have not attempted 100 questions my strategy so let's say you are stuck up at uh, 70 to 80 odd questions my strategy would be to start guessing right you have to start guessing because otherwise you are already out of the competition right guessing might work this time round so my minimum target is to get 100 attempts maintaining this ratio and if you know that your ratio is pretty bad it is not 7 is to 3 uh, ratio then you should improve the, even this further attempt right so that has to be done here uh, otherwise uh, we are again sunk up here okay so keep this calculation in mind while you are attempting the examination on the 20th okay so this is all about basic stuff of IP I hope uh, you rock the exam best wishes from my side and please try to do the things that we have just talked about in the video all right and I hope you come out with flying class at IP with a rank of under a uh, thousand we have not talked about the colleges you can just do the research on colleges on the web it is completely available in fact uh, what you can do uh, we uh, just see the uh, uh, this, uh, you know detail section of the video right detail uh, section of the video uh, description or say we can say description also I have attached a link here uh, which uh, uh, contains the opening and closing ranks of uh, for uh, Delhi and outside Delhi categories for 2016 you can just go on to the description click that link and you will get uh, your answers for at what particular rank at uh, what particular stream at what college you will get so you'll get answers for those particular questions very specific no uh, fake answers straight away from the IP itself or maybe you can go to their website it's completely available on their website so I have just downloaded it and I have provided a link to it okay uh, and yes, to coming to the most important part, if you are liking what we are delivering here at Math and Go, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please put uh, likes on our videos. Uh, otherwise, we will not get motivated. Motivation is required for us also to keep us working. And please remember, keep learning and keep supporting and plus keep promoting also. So if you feel that this pro video is uh, useful, might be useful to your friends as well, go and do share. All right. Best wishes, good luck, good night, have a sleep, good sleep, plus have a good year again.